How's it going everybody? Once again, I want to thank you for stopping by my channel and watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And to all those people who have subscribed, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate that. Uh, on today's video, what I thought I'd do is start a series of videos that kind of went over motorcycle gear and basically a, a, a sort of an outline or a guideline to help you uh, pick out what type of riding gear that you want to buy. When I started riding, uh, the, the choice of motorcycle gear was just absolutely overwhelming. I didn't know, you know, what different types of gloves I would need. I didn't know what type, what type of helmet I would need, what type of boots I would need. So that's kind of my inspiration for making this series of videos is just an outline, uh, kind of go over the different types of motorcycle gear just to, just to help you out a little bit. Cause I could have used a little bit of help myself. So on the first video, we're going to focus on gloves, the different types of riding gloves, uh, the different styles of riding gloves, basically what their pros and their cons are of each style. And I'm going to go over the gloves as you see here in front of me. These are all my personal gloves that I bought and paid for with all my own money. As you can see that they're all Alpine Stars because that's kind of the brand that I, uh, that's kind of the brand that I settled on, decided that I, you know, was best for me. I really like the, uh, the quality of these type of gloves. I like the, uh, the stitching, the styling, uh, everything about Alpine Stars gloves. I really, really do like, that's why I kind of went with this brand. I know they're not the cheapest on the market, but that's also a good thing because if you're buying something very cheap, it, it kind of, it's not going to provide a lot of protection for you if you have to go down in a crash. So my philosophy is if you're going to spend money on riding gear, buy the best gear that you can afford. And if that means that you're, you can afford to pay $350 for a pair of gloves, then by all means do it. Uh, you don't have to though. Uh, if you look online, you can find some pretty good bargains for things. Uh, most of these gloves here, some of these, like this one pair right here is pretty expensive, brand new, but if you wait and time it just right, you can buy, let's say, last season's model of gloves uh, at a steep discount. But anyways, let's get on with the uh, the different types of gloves. And I'm gonna start with probably the, uh, the lightest protection and go all the way up to the best protection. So we'll go ahead and start with these gloves right here. Okay, so this is the Alpine Stars SMX1. Uh, these are probably my go-to gloves in the summertime. Uh, they're mesh style gloves, and they don't provide a whole a lot of protection on the back of your fingers right here, but what they do provide is a whole ton of airflow. And I absolutely love these gloves because of the air, amount of airflow that they do flow during the summertime. It's just great, it's awesome. It almost feels like you're not really wearing anything, but these are excellent for summer, summer use for riding around in town. Now, if I'm going to go on the highway or anything else like that, I'm not going to be wearing a glove like this. I'm going to go with something with more protection, but these gloves right here, the mesh style glove with, uh, with just your basic, you know, your padding and your knuckle guard on it right here. And it's got a little bit of abrasion, you know, uh, protection here on the back of the back of the fingers for your knuckles. And it's got some on the outside here. I don't know what this material is. It feels like suede or something like that, but uh, these are pretty, like I said, very well-rounded gl gloves for riding around in town. Uh, I don't wear these things if I plan on doing anything, any speeds constantly over, say, you know, 45 to 50 miles an hour. I just don't feel like they'd provide enough protection in a crash at those kind of speeds. But uh, these are my go-to gloves for riding around with my mini bikes in the summertime because I very, very rarely exceed, you know, 45 or 50 miles an hour on one of those motorcycles. But as you can see, they do provide quite a bit of protection still on the palm of the hand. They have some padding right here. If you think about it, what's the first thing it's gonna hit the ground when you go down in a crash? It's gonna be your hands, because you're gonna, you know, unless you're knocked out cold, the first thing you're gonna do is reach for the ground, and you're gonna to wanna to stop and brace your impact as much as possible. So gloves, probably after your helmet, are the most important thing. All right. Next level up of gloves is going to be basically the same style as far as lengthwise goes is concerned. Uh, these are actually full on full leather gloves, a little bit more padding and a little bit more armor right there. That's kind of a, a semi hard, rigid kind of a wrist guard right there. These are my go to gloves for uh, anything that involves like warm weather riding. You know, if I'm riding one of my faster motorcycles, like my Vulcan S or something like that, I'm gonna. These are my go-to gloves for riding that motorcycle, because they provide a whole lot more protection than than the uh, the mesh style gloves do. And these ones also have very, very nice 
protection on the knuckles and they also have very nice protection on the palm of the hand right here as you can see that that wrist protector right there is quite a bit thicker than the other glove uh, you have this you know sort of stuff right here I don't even know I'm sorry I'm not very technical about this stuff but uh, this also has a velcro opening for the uh, the wrist to put your hand in and as you can see full leather palm everything on here is leather and then on the outside here it's also got additional uh, additional protection for your pinky right there and this one also this glove also has a bridge I don't know if any other companies do this but there's a leather bridge that connects your ring finger to your pinky finger right here that way it prevents your pinky from you know twisting backwards you know in a crash I'm sure it's not going to completely protect your hand from breaking or getting a broken pinky but as you can see that little bridge right there connects these two fingers together and kind of connects them together just to reduce the, the chances of your, your pinky bending backwards and, and snapping completely. And then also on the back of the knuckles right here, you have additional armor to protect against you know crashing or, or sliding or going down on the street. These have perforations in the fingers, which helps them keep, you know, keep your fingers nice and cool when you're riding around the summer. These ones do get a little bit warm, uh, but I've ridden with these things up to you know, 85, 90 degrees, and I've not really had a problem with it. I don't have really sweaty hands though so you know some of you guys out there might have more sweaty hands but might have a problem with this but uh, as far as uh, riding at higher speeds um, just cruising around maybe hitting the highway every once in a while doing higher speeds this is my go-to glove for that style of thing I do pr prefer something with a lot more padding and protection when my speeds are going to be sustained more than just in in city traffic speed limits so that's why this is my go-to glove for that and uh I would recommend this style of glove if you do basically all around riding in the summer and uh, spring and stuff like that. All right, next style of glove is going to be your full gauntlet gloves. Now I know you're looking at this thinking that this, this, you know, that's something for the racetrack. Well, that's true, but it's also nice to have something like this on the street. If you can get away with wearing something like this and, and riding comfortably with it, then this would probably be the type of glove that I would recommend wearing. This was my actual first real pair of gloves and I'm very, very happy with them. Uh, I've ridden with these things quite a bit, to be honest with you. I've ridden with them in the rain, in the sun, and it doesn't matter, just anything. But uh, talking about protection of these gloves, now when you get into a gauntlet glove is when you're gonna step up to additional armor like this piece right here, this is hard armor for your wrist bone right there, which the other gloves don't have something like that. And also it has this adjustment strap that's, you can cinch it down really well up against your wrist. And then it also has this, this one right here, this Velcro strap to strap over. And it kind of seals on top of your jacket or below your jacket, depending on how big your jacket was. Uh, I have a couple of different jackets that, uh, you know, depending on what they are, I might put it over the top of my jacket or under my jacket. It just all depends. Uh, and then as you can see right here, another piece of soft armor right here for your, that would be for this part of your thumb. Along the back of the thumb, it has perforations here to kind of keep your, your fingers a little bit cooler. Now I'm sure that the, uh, the material that's on the palm of this glove here, here is probably thicker than what you'd find on the, uh, the mesh glove. If you look at the two of these side by side, you can see the difference between the materials there, how much thinner this one is compared to this one. So, like I said, this is the glove that's going to provide you with the most protection. And if you can get away with wearing something like this all the time, then absolutely go for it because these gloves are just absolutely phenomenal. Um, they don't get all that hot in the summertime, to be honest with you. They, this glove has perforations, and while, yes, your hand will sweat a little bit, it's not something that I've ever considered to be uncomfortable. I mean, it's very comfortable for me to ride with this type of glove on. Anyways, this is the gauntlet-style glove. Very good protection, the best out of all of them. Uh, yes, this can be probably the most expensive, but if you time it just right, you can buy a glove like this for, you know, as little as $120 for a... I think I paid... I paid full price for these things. I believe I did pay probably $149 or $150 for them. But if you value your hands, you know, don't skimp out on gloves. Don't skimp out on the price of gloves. Buy some good stuff. Next type of gloves. These are also gauntlet style gloves, but these don't have the full on protection as the other pair of gloves. These are basically waterproof, windproof, uh, winter and cold weather riding gloves. 
These also have that hard knuckle protection as you have seen with all the other types of gloves that I've shown you. As you can see here, it does also provide this little padded protection right here for the back of your hand. I don't know, what is that thing called? I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, it's got this nice padding right here, right here, and also on your thumb. And it's got the nice leather on the palm of the hands. And I can attest to this, this is really, this material that they use on these gloves is really nice. You know, even in co uh, cold, wet weather, you can still get quite a bit of a uh, bit of traction and grip on your on your motorcycle hand grips. It's really nice. Uh, as you can see on the back side right here, there's a little bit of extra padding for your for your pinky finger right there. And uh, carrying over from the other pair of gloves, it also has this bridge that goes across your uh, ring finger and your pinky finger to keep them from separating. This one also does provide a little bit of extra padding in the knuckle area and. Uh, around the side you can see right here that's a little windshield wiper visor thingy <laughs> kind of cool huh if you can see that that's like a hard rubber piece right there for wiping your uh your visor off getting rain off your visor i haven't actually tested it it seems kind of gimmicky to me but anyways i'll give it a shot one of these days the only thing you're lacking as far as the gauntlet back here you don't have any additional padding back here for your wrist you do have a little bit on the inside just because of the actual, the additional Velcro strap going around like this. But uh, also very nice gloves. I would highly recommend them. Okay, so just to wrap things up, I'm going to go over real quick. These gloves, why I chose them and what I use them for. Here on the right, these are mesh gloves, summertime riding gloves. If I'm just riding around in the city, not doing too many things at high speeds, these are my go-to gloves, especially for riding my little mini bikes because there's it's almost like you're not wearing a glove the, the tactile feedback that you have through the palms of these gloves right here is very excellent that's why i choose them for those for that type of writing i'm sorry this writing this glove right here the alpine star seller i use this mainly on my cruiser motorcycle which would be my kawasaki vulcan s simply because i can do a hell of a lot more you know top speed and i you know i admit you know I'll, I'll i'll go over the speed limit here and here and there so if I accidentally have an accident on that motorcycle, I want something with a lot of protection. And uh, this is my go-to glove right here, the Alpine Star Seller. Next up, right here, full-on gauntlet glove right here. The protection of this with the additional armor and also the additional wrist protection. This is my go-to glove if I'm going on a road trip on a highway or where sustained speeds are going to be 55 and above or if I'm going to be away from the house. I want to make sure I have a glove like this that has a whole lot of protection. Because if I go down somewhere and I'm doing 60, 65, or even 70 miles per hour, which glove am I going to pick? I don't want to be wearing this guy right here. I want to be wearing something like this. So that's why I chose this glove right here. This is my highway glove. I don't care if it, my hands are getting hot. It doesn't matter. I'd rather sweat than bleed than, and, and my hands are my, my life source. So I choose this type of glove right here for highway riding and where higher speeds are going to be sustained. Next glove right here, this is basically the same as this, less protection in the wrist, less protection overall, but you have to have warm hands when you're riding in the cold, and that's just something that you absolutely need. These gloves right here, these are not warm at all in the cold. This glove right here is warm in the cold. So I'd suggest picking up a pair of uh, waterproof, insulated, and uh, well, I guess windproof uh, riding gloves for cruising around when the, the temperature is colder, especially here during... Uh, you know, late fall, early winter time, a glove like this is worth its weight in gold. There it is. There's my uh, overview of gloves, what type of uh, style gloves they are, uh, the reason why I chose them, and what basically what I what I use them for. Uh, different types of riding styles and different types of riding areas dictate basically what glove I'm going to wear. And I know choosing out, you know, picking out a, a type of glove can be somewhat confusing if you're new to this or even if you're a seasoned rider. With all the different variations and varieties of everything that's coming out lately, it's, it's hard to choose sometimes. So I know this, this video is once again getting kind of long, but uh, this is the video first video in a series of videos that I'm going to do. We're going to do gloves. We're going to do helmets. We're going to do boots. Uh, oh, and we're going to do jackets. So I got, yeah, several more videos coming up talking about riding gear. And I hope I can hope this helps somebody out as far as like picking out the proper type of riding gear. In order to be a safe rider, I think you need to wear your gear, especially if you're a new rider. Uh, it's very, very important that you wear the most gear and the best gear that you can afford because that's probably the most, you know, if you're going to have an accident while riding a motorcycle early on, 
is probably when that's going to happen. So protect yourself and protect yourself well. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, remember to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, everybody ride safe and have a good day. And we will see you on the next video.